Speaking of the 68th annual session of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, the Prime Minister, Mr. Narsimha Rao, has stressed the need for the Indian corporate sector to join hands with the government to spread the benefits of economic reforms to the less privileged of the Indian society. The Prime Minister called upon the Indian entrepreneurs to contribute at least 1% of their new project outlays and another 1% of their profits towards the strengthening of the social infrastructure. He further assured that in the process of the march towards globalization, no compromise on national interests would be acceptable for India. The latest in high-tech were on extensive display in Delhi when the two largest ever international events of their kind, IT Asia 95 and Communications India 95, were inaugurated this week. While IT Asia, claimed to be the world's largest infotech fair, was a show window to the best in global and Indian hardware and software options. Communications India 95 had on show systems and services that promised to revolutionize telecommunications across the country. The exhibition is supported by the U.S. Telephone Association and certified by the U.S. Department of Commerce. This is a global endeavor, and what the United States Department of Commerce wants to do is be a partner in developing good policy and demonstrating to U.S. companies that this is a place you should invest, and hopefully demonstrating to Indian companies and Indian government that U.S. has something to offer. We have good technology, we have good partners, we've been good friends, let's do this together. The Delhi High Court this week allowed the PepsiCo International Restaurant Limited subsidiary Kentucky Fried Chicken to reopen its outlet in the capital. The court struck down the two show cause notices issued by the Municipal Corporation of Delhi to close down the restaurant 20 days back. The dust raised by the decision of the Reliance Industries last week to delist from the Bombay Stock Exchange seems to be finally settling down as both Reliance and BSE decide to settle for a compromise. Following a series of meetings between the senior members of the BSE and the top management of Reliance Industries, in a letter addressed to BSE, Reliance has officially announced that the company board has acceded to the request made by BSE not to go for delisting.